What's up traders, Marco here from elementaryfx.com and today is journal day, yes, we are going to review all the trades we took today and I have to say that today was a, a really really big day uh, literally because of two big trades we did one was a really good trade and the other one well we missed it but you will see later okay so let's get started from the first trade okay euro usd it is still going this one okay so basically um we actually saw that price did a reversal all right on this is 0.5 people level this is 0.6 or not remember uh, let me check let me check let me check euro usd euro usd euro usd this was 0.618 and that one was 0.786 i think i think i think i think i think okay let's get it. okay so basically um, price was in consolidation on 0.618 feeble level touched 0.7086 and then started a reversal going to actually retest the previous level of resistance all right now what I did today was basically this okay I saw that there was a huge spike a huge amount of bull move right here okay it's all it's around 85 pips only this candle 85 pips in around one hour all right so basically um my thought is okay so some really big boy is going bull and he basically is starting to catch all the reversal here from completion as you can see all right all the reversal as you can see here there are some huge candles okay so if you would think like um this was a bank or a hedge fund okay they basically play it and maybe take profit around here all right maybe some 10 pips, 40 pips, or around that, all right? So, this wing got filled. This wing got filled. This wing got filled here, and so on. Same applies for shorts. It, as you can see on the bull rise, there are literally more greens, more longer candle greens than red ones, all right? This candle is bigger than this one. This candle is bigger than this, than this, than this, than this, than this. Okay, there are lots of huge candles. Basically, means that really big people is playing to get in that direction, and they really uh, win most of the time. All right. So basically, I said, cool. I wanna get with the big shark right here and then I took my feeble level uh, swing high to swing low place my trade uh, unfortunately I placed my trade too early because when I placed my trade uh, there was only this candle okay and I thought uh, that reversal already started because it was uh, green this one okay I should have played safer, placing a stop on 618, but it was too late. And then price dropped down later, okay? So uh, basically, I don't know if I should even increase this to maybe this safe level, okay? Probably, probably this trade has a really huge amount of success rate because of that okay 
because they wanna get field somewhere around here maybe all right on the next field level 0.5 which is right here or probably they will get take profit right here or even they will keep it until there all right so basically uh i'm playing on the trend right here we spotted a reversal we spotted a really nice bottom channel as you can see here you can draw it in different ways you can draw it here you can draw it here okay it's fine but still we know the redirection and i think it will do really well okay so this was the first trade that actually as you can see i was here when i did play the trade i said oh shit i'm late it's already reversing okay and i placed my trade on 0.5 fibo level but later it went down retesting 0.786 now it should spike up at least here at, at completion and maybe do some uh consolidation before going up again okay that was the first one the second one was Yurian that didn't get filled yet okay so uh before we go into this one i really wanna get the this and this okay so basically i was looking at daily chart and i found out this really nice pattern all right we already had a trade around here okay pointing up i basically uh, close this trade at break even for one pip point because basically there are 40 to 50 to 60 pips okay 60 pips around to completion of the pattern so basically um, I didn't want to have a 60 pips door down so I basically stopped it in break even and that was the trade no not this one yeah, see, yeah, this one should be this one. Yeah, this one. Trade close, close and break even plus one pip. Why? I spotted a huge pattern. Stop order is pips 60 pips lower. Okay, cool. So basically, this is the right direction, but uh, probably reversal will start 60 pip lower on pattern trigger right here. This was a pattern I found out with the. Uh, software I'm developing for elementaryfx.com. I was testing actually uh, values between patterns and I found out uh, that it was really close so I, I wanted to be part of it. And then after I closed this trade at break even I opened this one. So basically uh, we were here all right the old trade pointing up was around here okay in the middle of the consolidation and i spotted a really nice um, channel even if it's a small one it was a really nice channel as you can see you can spot touches really clear touches maybe this is not really clear but it's fine so uh, as our rules say after the fifth touch price should retrace and then go lower okay pattern completion is right here we still have 90 pips from the top well i i will explain later but anyway pattern completion completion is around here okay i think i probably uh place stop uh, by stop by something higher okay to don't miss the trade but anyway the the thought behind that was basically okay fifth touch right here price should retrace and go lower so i basically prepared to stop stop orders one uh based on the touch of the channel this this blue this blue one okay which you can actually do have to do it manually you cannot set a really uh, a price for it because it depends on how long price 
will get will take time to reach that point and the other one was placed at around 0.382 FIBO level all right I, I want to say also that I might have misplayed something of this trade okay it didn't get it didn't get filled yet I don't think it, it those trades will get filled because actually price retraced a bit uh, let me show you why I, th I think I misplayed it okay, euro yen euro yen that was the trade okay ah oh, come on that was the trade let's get a closer view one second okay basically i'm targeting here of uh, the fifth the fifth touch and i should have targeted the fourth touch for the feeble level instead when i placed my trade i was targeting on second touch or even yeah i was targeting second touch instead of fourth touch all right it didn't get filled though because i played i i placed the stop loss here on 0.382 field level which normally is the most common level to place stops in it all right but it's fine at least we we had a really nice direction of the trade that's important uh you will miss trades a lot of the times but in the end the end of the story you want to get the direction and that's it so if we placed our actually stop loss stop order not loss sorry <coughs> on 0.5 feeble level we would get now where price is it now it's 30 bips okay while if we would uh, take profit on pattern completion or at least around it it will be 30 uh, not 30 but 70 pips around okay um, I still don't think it is a really nice uh, idea to actually short it even if there are still maybe 25 pips because you cannot really get a, a really nice risk reward because I would not know where to place my stop loss, alright? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe price can retest, you know? Maybe price can retest these, this level or this level and then go lower, you don't know. You are still on the channel touch right here, okay? It's not the fifth, but it didn't break out yet, at least. Depends on what channel you see, okay? What channel of your, well, you consider, okay? So basically, I think price will actually come at this level and then spike up. Let me show you. I've already prepared everything, okay? why why am i actually taking this long for basically mm, two reasons the first reason is that as you can see there is a really nice channel right there okay it's 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 not even average uh, except this spike that can happen but it's not really average it's peak to peak okay and it really really is at coincidence of the pattern if pips more pips less it's really on that pattern completion okay so i think pattern completion is around here all right pattern completion is around here if price spikes down even 
even here and then spikes up is still it's still okay so uh, the only thing i really want is to get field on the order of the pattern and that's it uh talking about this pattern the safest the safest take profit would be at the first um point which is the the b point okay you have something like 80 to 90 percent of reaching that point all right so the safest place to play to actually take profit will be this one but since we are touching the lower channel all right you can even aim to the highest channel lead right here all right it's 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 crazy yeah yeah it's crazy but if you think about it it's something like 650 pips it's crazy but it's like a free trade and you can you can count even touches i mean uh if you count these as the entry you get zero one oops a zero one two three all right that's the fourth and the fifth later and then we will think about the breakout but for now we have two really big reasons to play long on this trade at this level okay and i think it will play out really it will really play out i really don't think i will keep the trade until the top i really think i will keep the trade until b point and then maybe there will be some retraces you know it will do for sure it, it won't be a straight spike up i think well i cannot predict future so let's we will see okay so that was the trade of urian we still have to let it go so basically we are this is open we didn't get filled in this this is yet to get filled i will focus this later this was breaking even i want to talk about uh euro used is not yet there i think oh yeah uh, this was a test for for the software okay it was just a test so did I get counted but uh, even even if it was a really a real trade uh, stop loss would be above here I think yeah something above here or even here to be super safe and price tuned down but it's okay it's fine it was just a test as you can see on the screen uh, but, but, uh, i did some trades i don't remember them gbp usd i talk about that or not yeah we, we stop yeah plus 30 pips um usd cad yeah that was the trade I, I wanted to talk about. USD CAD last video, which I did yesterday, we were around here, all right, with the sh with the with the price, and I was waiting basically a channel hit of the purple one, right, the pink one. Today it happened, and I closed the trade with plus one five fifty. <laughs> Oh yeah, 150 pip, 55 pips, and when I closed it, or some 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 time before I, I did close the trade, I spotted this huge pattern right here, USD CAD, loose gardening. All right, so basically this was a huge pattern. Just consider that. XA is 380 pips around, all right? Take profit would be around 300 if 
take profit free would actually get hit but anyway um, channel hit was basically here let's get into the chart okay as you can see I was trading this short from here okay and I basically waited the channel touch right here all right trade was around here okay add this resistance was okay so we traded here on the channel touch as you can see price really respected channel touch and spiked up for the pattern which is this one okay unfortunately we didn't get filled for five pips four pips okay i had my buy soap holder right here on the competition which is this one it's really precise the software maybe it's just too much precise i should place my stop loss my my stop orders a bit higher and lower than than actually than the actually price okay and it did play out that this freaking pattern actually got let me check uh, let's go on the four hour chart yeah, one hour let's go in the one hour chart okay my order was something like here okay something like five pips low here my buy order was something like here and price actually came back retesting retesting previous channel and those are more than 110 pips all right as you can see price is respecting really nicely patterns okay i want to talk about now about this channel okay we basically uh, two weeks ago, I think we spotted that we had a pull, a consolidated a flag going up, okay, an ascending flag, and price after the consolidation would have dropped down as predicted. All right, you can even do this if you want that's the length you can even do this okay see that is not magic that was, that was the start of the pull of the consolidation that was the end it fits perfectly all right basically uh, now price hit the lower channel okay which was created by these pikes lower and now it's retesting the other one uh, for now I really I really would not know what to do at the moment because from our strategy as we always did if price did touch channel okay okay we always looked for the other one the top one but since it's retesting channel this one i think it will retrace okay maybe maybe let me let me see let me see okay i think it will retrace around here and then go higher uh, our focus will be this level okay our focus will be this level as 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 our pattern says you know this level is all around is about around here on tp3 and we are actually right here 
Okay, so I think it will retrace maybe on this support level of that just broke and then spike up. Okay, anyway, we didn't get field of this order, but it's actually on 120 pips profit. Uh, it's just a shame that <laughs> I really didn't get it, but it's fine, it's fine. We, we got the direction at least, all right? And with this pattern, we at least know that there are probabilities that price will go higher again, okay? That was USD CAD. Uh, and this is still going. Where is this, where is the other one? Pattern. We, we already closed it. Closed it in break even. Uh, we've okay. That was the last one. Uh, GBP USD is still going. Okay, it's still going. You can see that price reactively reacted again after this second spike reacted and now it's going down okay and we still have uh, USD CHF still going same of GBP USD price is the channel and now it's reversing the problem of USD CHF is that we don't know where actually will reverse to break the channel since it's the, five, the fifth touch, but I think it would reach at least 0.5 cube level, so it's fine. We still let it go, and that's it. So basically, today was a really big day. We missed a 120 pip trade and. We miss a 120 pip trade, we miss a 99 pip trade, and we got a 150 pips closed. Okay, for today's everything, uh, Marco here from elementaryfx.com. If you have something to ask, just comment the video or go on our site elementaryfx.com and contact us on from the forms you can see on the site. Okay, that's everything. See ya traders. Have a good weekend. I don't think tomorrow I will trade something. It's Friday and it's really hard to trade. Okay, the only thing I, I think it will happen, it will, might be uh, this order. Okay, price could be in his way to get filled on this pattern and that's it that's the only thing i will i think it will happen that's everything for today see ya bye bye